Okay, we're going to um, attempt to put the roofing. That's um, on page 11. Okay, so that's on page 11 right here. Adding a roof. It's got a description here of how you can go about. Uh, it says change the ground floor view uh, under the architecture tab. You go and do that. Um, you click yes to, the, to this question because if you start off with the ground floor like I am, uh, it will say you can't put the roof on, on the ground floor. Do you want to put it on the first floor or on level one, in other words? Uh, duplicate an existing roof uh, to create this type of roof. Okay, so we're going to duplicate this one here. And this is the information we're going to put in there, basically, to, to do that. All right, so you can insert layers, and then you can move them up and down. I'll, I'll briefly show you how to do that. Uh, but in general, I'm going to start off with, a, with it being made already and just show you how to actually place the roof in the actual um, drawing. All right, so we're going to go with about this step in a minute. Okay. So under the architecture tab, we're going for a roof here by footprint. Okay, there's a few other options I'm not exploring. And it says, look, you're on ground floor. You can't put it there, surely. And that is correct. I want to put it on level one. So go yes here. All right, so the base level is level one there. All right, what roof are we going to put in there? Well, generic roof that we start off with is actually... Uh, 400 it starts off with that so we're gonna make it a gen I think we're calling it generic still um, yeah, somewhere yeah generic 180 instead so we're starting off with this basically and we're editing this uh, we're duplicating it and we're calling it whatever name we're gonna call it uh, generic 180 I won't do that because I've got one already and then it's just a matter of following the instructions uh, on point four to um, edit this. So you click on edit, all right? And then you insert different, they're called layers, all these little things here. So um, yeah, so basically this is a core layer, which is basically the thing that's carrying all the, uh, all the weight. That's, that's basically the rafter section, I suppose, of the roof. And, um, okay, according to this, that's going to be 90 anyway, not 400. So that's going to be 90, so we'll just change that. And whatever, okay, so by category, we're not saying what it is, it's just generic. So we could go in there and say timber if you want, or, or steel. But we won't go there. Um, so I'll just cancel that. But then if you want to insert a new one, you go here. All right, so generally this is... Um, above and this is below see this is layers below and layers above all right so we want to do it looks like from here where everything's going to be above you're going to have a vapor uh, membrane thing up above that so we can then move it up there so there it goes all right so just making sure that you pick the right stuff from here so here it's a it's a um oh that's interesting what is it oh, it's a membrane layer there you go and then over here, you select. Now here you can just. It's best, supposed to be a, a vapor, something or other. So you're typing vapor. Oops. Here and this comes up. Okay, so vapor retarder, retarder. So you okay that. That drops in there, and you put a thickness if there is one. Of this one there isn't because it's so thin. Uh, but then you know if you move up to the next one, there'd be a structure something or other. That's interesting. What is that? It doesn't actually tell you if it's structure one or structure two. Unfortunately, these uh, things are not um, wide enough. The columns, uh, like I'm talking about here, oops, um, like here, is not telling us uh, what that is. You know, is it structure one or, or what or two? So let me just, uh, uh, to clarify that, let's go into the video, into the... Um, uh, Revit here and have a look at the one where, uh, where you made and then that you can copy that all right so let's go back to here and uh, just just cancel that for now all right I'm gonna continue with that let's go and look at the one I uh, have prepared earlier so to speak and uh, go there edit and just make this a bit wider and see what they are supposed to be all right so that there above the membrane layer shall be structure one so when you're selecting that the structure one 
then there's another membrane layer, and then there's a finish full. All right. All right. So and there the sizes. The sizes are already in the um, PDF. So it's fine. It's a twenty for that, seventy for that, and zero for the others. All right. So that's the roof basically done. Okay. It's not a big deal about what you pick here for now anyway. Uh, structure one or or two or whatever. But um, we'll explain that another time. Let's, let's just go OK now. Oh, I'll cancel in this instance and cancel that. All right. So here we go. So we want to put this roof on. OK. So uh, note here that this shall be 760 as that is. And this is very important. Tick that. Extend to wall call. All right, so basically the 760 is measured from that face there, all right, by the um, you know the uh, the timber wall, and out to here is 760. All right, this thing is coming up with oh, it's an offset. Okay, all right. So what we need to do then is use this thing here. Uh, are we on there? Yes. Okay, so. And then it's just a matter, it's a bit like the, um, I want to do the floor. So we just go there, we tab, and we click. And basically the roof is done. However, uh, we need to have a look at, we need to, what we're going to do with this, instead of just mucking around with it now, we're just going to have a quick look as to what we got. Then we're going to go through and edit it. Uh, make, so just, just tick it for now, just to quickly see what you've created. And um, you could go edit it before you do that, but oh, there's our roof. <laughs> How about that, eh? That's our roof. Why is our roof looking like that? Well, I don't actually know. It could be because the roof is turned off. Uh, so I'm just going to go into VV and type in RO, hopefully. Uh, yeah, the roof is turned off. Why would the roof be turned off? Because you're doing a demonstration. All right, so let's go OK. And there's our roof. Oh, that's because I've got two roofs. I, I was supposed to delete the old one uh, before I did the uh, demonstration. Sorry, let's delete that. Um, this is what we actually would have got. All right. I was meaning to delete it, but I never did. All right, so that's uh, our roof. All right. So now what we're going to do is uh, follow on page 12 and, um, and uh, basically do this. So from that, we're going to edit this thing. We can edit it in 3D as well. Now, this has been sw switched around a little bit. So what we're looking at here, we're looking at it from the back view, northeast view. So if you want it to look like this thing here, you shall go back in here and look at it from the back rather than from the front. So at least you're looking at the same orientation. This is not a very good view, is that? Um, I don't know. Maybe that there will look a bit better. All right, so now if I click on here, I can actually edit this thing um, in 3D. Uh, edit footprint. All right, so what we're trying to do is create a uh, gable end on this end. All right, and that's about it. And also what we're trying to do is change this so it's actually got, uh, I think it's 22 and a half degrees from memory. Uh, I'm not sure if I should have done that a bit earlier, but if not, I'll do it now. That's now. So what you do, you, you click on this one here first. It doesn't matter which order, but and then you go up there and say, take the tick off where it says define slope. All right. Yeah, I'm not sure. Uh, no, I think that's about right. We do have an overhang, I think. So we'll leave that there. All right. So then what we're going to do here, and if I left it at that just now, you see what I've done. I just created that. All right. But I'll just keep going. So over here, I click on this one here. And if I can click all of them. Um, at once and change, you should be able to change the whole thing to uh, 22 and a half degrees from here. All right. Individually, you can do it from like individually, you can click on one and uh, goodness me, won't let me do it. There you go. Click on one and then you can change the number there. But if you've got a few to do, uh, you might as well uh, do it through <coughs> the properties. Uh, so you can do 22.5 there. That's done. Really, that's it. All right. So then all you've got to do is um, 
uh, the following thing, maybe. Oh, it says another thing here on, uh, well, I'll, I'll do that thing next and I'll show you something that's sort of a mistake in the, uh, in the book, I suppose. So let's, uh, I want to move this up. So what I'm going to do is uh, click on the wall and then attach top base. That just pops up when I click on the wall. And then indicate this is the top base or to attach to. And that, that's it, basically. Now, a few of you have gone searching and you found that there's a gap in there. <laughs> All right, so you can do the same thing if you're not comfortable about that. You can do that uh, to this wall as well. Uh, it's just a matter of clicking this wall this time. Oh, we got it, yeah, there you go. And then attach top base and click on the roof. And that tidies that up, all right? So that that's pretty good, all right? I think that's all right there, that'll do. Don't look too closely, all right? Okay, so um, where were we after that? Down, down, if I just show you this one here, it says something about ceiling level. Uh, okay, so it says uh, you have not created your roof on the ceiling level, all right? For us, it's actually level one, all right? It, what it's saying there is this. Uh, if it, that original question where it said up here, do you want to move to level one? If you said no, your roof would have, ooh, your roof would have been created, but it would have been on the ground level. So it would have been, I don't know if you let me do it, apply. Yeah. Uh, because it's, it says you have to, um, delete instances, I don't know, I'll just do that. It would have been down there like that. So if your roof ends, ends up like that, you can still fix it. You can just uh, you know, highlight the roof and tag it up. What it's saying to the ceiling level, it's actually our ceiling level is level one. All right, so just apply, so press apply. There you go. Okay, so that's how you would fix it. So most things are fixable. Uh, all right, um, so what? The reason that uh, that's called ceiling is because uh, maybe we missed a step somewhere, but this was supposed to be renamed somewhere along the line, maybe to to ceiling. And um, uh, you can you can do that any time if you want to. Yeah. Yes. So now if I click on here, it does say you should say you should say <laughs> ceiling. See that? So now I'm matching the notes. Okay. So it does say ceiling now. There you go, ceiling. Good, all right. Uh, I think that's about it for that one. Um, that's it. Oh, the fascia, yeah, okay. <laughs> that's, um, we'll do that as a separate thing uh, for the fascia. That's a good thing to do. Let's have a look. Stop recording.